In this video tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the four point surface tool uh, to produce this surface, this model. So I can just change this from the zero to 90 degrees. And basically this is a mechanism from the, from the Al-Bahar tower you can see here. And this pattern just uh, goes from this to closing like this. So uh, we will try to simulate this with Grasshopper with simple tools and uh, rotation we give from zero to maybe 90 degrees. So this is the tutorial about the four point surface. You can find it by typing the four P here or you can simply go to the surface and in the freeform menu you have the four point surface tool. Okay, to get started and model this uh, mechanism of the Albar Tower, uh, first we have to explain what happens when the pattern uh, closes or opens. So I'm going to talk about this and show you how we can model this uh, and change this from open to close and model the mechanism. Uh, so I'm going to start from scratch and explain this in Rhino. So assume that we have a triangle here and we have to model this. Okay, uh, if we assume that the center of this model is up here, we can make this by connecting from here to the center and uh, to this. And now we can just, okay, we have to connect this to the middle. And now I can just mirror this and then uh, array polar three times and here's the close of the model. So how can we just, uh, we want to just uh, rotate this so we can close and open the model. We need a reference and a, a transformation on this triangle. So how can we do this? If we rotate this in the uh, Y direction, you can see that it will not work because if I just mirror this and then let's again array center here and three times, you can see that that's not correct. The next thing we can do is to maybe uh, rotate 3D by this edge and again you can see that's not correct too because if we do the mirror thing we have a gap here and then we have the array polar array uh, three times and you can see that there's a gap and that's not correct that's not correct too okay so what happens to this triangle uh, if you see the model you can see that uh, when we close the pattern uh, the corner goes in. So if you just catch this, you can see that the corner goes towards the center. So here we have this. You can see that in this too. You can see that the corners just move. And here we have, if we have this here, is rotating inside. So this edge will rotate inside and this corner will go towards the center and uh, perhaps the center of the model will come forward and so we have a movement here up and down. When you have a complicated model like this, what you can do is to simply fix a point. So I'm going to assume that this point does not move. We know that it will move up and down, but we can just make it fixed here and then rotate the edges and when we rotate the edge and calculate the triangle we can then move the uh, center here up so up and down it's just a move here we can do that at the end so what I'm going to do is to let's have a curve here to the middle and a line here and a line here and let's just 
delete the whole thing. Okay, here's the model. And let's go to the grasshopper and enter these into grasshopper, okay? First, I'm going to enter these three edges. The set one, this curve, this line, and this line. Okay, we have three lines here. And now what we can do is to first rotate this line. So I'm going to use the rotate 3D tool, rotate this line uh, from the center. So let's just import this. And the axis will be the Y. And the degree here, let's just give this a degree from 0 to maybe 52. here and you can see that I can rotate this it will go up so I need it to come down I'm going to right click on the angle and make it minus X and remember we need a degree here so I just chose the degrees here okay so uh, by assuming that this point does not move and we know that it will move up and down but we'll just fix this point and rotate this edge and I've explained that the edge will on, uh, only come up and down and in the circle here so we are rotating one of the edges. Now we have to calculate, we have two points of the transform triangle and we want to know where this point will go. So whenever it is, we can simply connect these three points together and make the surface happen. So the mission will be uh, calculate the point of this uh, corner. Now we have the first point, the second point will be the end of this line so we can go to the curve we can go point on curve and have this at the end and now we can simply have two points of our triangle and need, we need the third one okay how we can find the third point is easily done by calculating the uh, point in the space so assume that we have this edge here it can't go uh, in any direction so it will only move in this direction a circle from the center here and the radius R so this is the location of the edge here we, we're gonna find this around the circle so I'm going to use a simple circle here and we need the plane here and the plane is something like this Okay, let's just draw this that's an X and a Z so we have a special plane here okay we can go to the vector and make a construct plane tool for the circle the center of the plane will be here the X direction will be this edge and the Y direction will be the Z. So you can see that we have the plane here, okay? That's the plane for the circle, and the radius will be the exact length of this. You can simply connect this to the radius, it will calculate its length. And now we will have the location of this edge in space. So we know it's somewhere here, uh, and perhaps it's down here because it will move down. Next, we have to find this edge. So we have the location of this edge in space. It's a circle. And how can we just calculate this? This will be uh, more complicated, so more than a circle. So it's going to be a sphere. Uh, the edge has a length. Assume that's an L. We can draw a sphere. Okay, I'm just going to draw a small sphere here. A sphere by a radius of L will be the location of this edge because it can be anywhere in the space and we don't know where it is so we can just go here and give it a sphere to the end of this and the radius will be the edge we used here okay and let's just make this high quality so you can see that when we rotate this first line the sphere moves and the circle is just a constant geometry and we have to found the uh, intersection between the sphere and the circle we can easily go to the intersect 
and physical b -rep curve boundary with a curve so we will have the results here you can see we have two points for intersection okay so perhaps the only correct answer is this because this is too far and the answer will be something like this and this is how you how you can easily manage to model a mechanism uh, like the Albahar Tower. So I'm going to uh, have these two points. We have to just pick one up. I'm going to give the list item tool and pick up the points. So the list item will just uh, take one data or many as much you want. So I'm going to give this a zero, the first point in the list. We have two points. And you can see that it goes to the further one. So I'm going to give this a one, the next or the second point here. Okay, let's just change the number from zero. Okay, we have a, a point here. Okay, check this out. When we have more than zero for rotation, uh, we have this uh, point and that's correct. But when we just put it into zero, and that's when I'm just opened uh, completely, you can see that it picks up the second point. So we have to correct this list item. What I'm going to do is to assume that we just rotate this, okay? And we have two set of points for the answers. And what uh, the answer is the nearest point to this corner. So we have two distances here and we can find the most near point to the corner and that's the answer. So we can simply use a CP point tool the points that are, we are searching for the closest is uh, these two points and the point that is searching is the corner so we have to give this to corner let's assume that we give this uh, point here okay we have to make this in rhino and give this the point okay and this point is searching between these two points and finding the most near point to that and that's the answer so you can see that we have the answer without uh, needing to use the list item tool and we will always have the point which is near to this corner and you can see how it rotates in space okay now we can use the four point surface tool you can just type 4p and we can use three or four points to produce a surface so we have three points now the first point is here the second is just the end of the line and the third is the point we calculated and here we go now we can just test this by mirror and arraying the triangle so let's just go and use the mirror and the plane for this mirror will be the xz plane so let's just give this XZ plane. Okay, we can join these two surfaces together. B rep join, join this one to this one. Okay, so this is the result. And now we have to array this. A polar, uh, polar array will just do fine. I'm going to polar array this. The center plane will be an XY plane with the center of the center of the triangle and the number will be three count of arrays so i'm going to give this let's just give this three okay and the angle is two pi that's okay 360 degrees and now you can see the results that's it it's finished and we have uh, completely open to closed one but we have to fix something when we assume that this point does not move but we know that it moves up and down we have to put this up so it will just move in the plane of xy so the next and the last part is to go here and check the point that we just calculated and go to the vector deconstruct point we have the z so it's minus three down here and it's simply we can move it plus three so we can just 
give this to a z and minus x for the expression let's just move move this up and here we go this is the most simple way you can solve uh, complicated mechanisms and you can see that I am producing this simply by just two or three steps and here you can see at the front it does not come down okay it moves in the rails or in the right section you can see that and we also have the center coming up and down and these edges just folding in so that's it you can easily do this and have the exact uh, model without any deformation and uh, we can just uh, make these uh, curves also parametric so that's another point but for now you can see that we can easily give one point uh, from the uh, center one for the corner and three edges and have the model with just a simple number slider changing and opening this and simply we can just join the okay let's join again the surface and have the model that's it so you can see that you can easily uh, fold the model fold the surface and just show how easy it is to model a mechanism just like this Albahar tower and it's really easy but remember you have to assume that one point is fixed even if you know where it goes if you know that it's going up and down you can just transform the results up and down so that's okay but you can use the uh, hints you have the circle the sphere to model the mechanisms and uh, model the folding of that uh, surface. Okay, thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the Grasshopper commands uh, or any questions you have about Grasshopper, uh, feel free to ask and I will try to answer and thank you.